Now, the title of this episode has been uh, Extraordinary Claims. And so we've been talking about some fairly strange things, uh, like Susan's out-of-body experience. We traveled to the Mind, Body, Spirit Festival and talked, about every, talked to people about uh, UFOs, to prayer batteries, horoscopes, kinesiology, um, auras, psychics, tarot cards, everything under the sun. And I think it's really interesting to think about these things in terms of their cognitive explanations. Now, what do we mean by that? It's, it's, these are real explanations for why people believe strange things, like uh, perceptual reasons, attention, memory, as opposed to motivational explanations, like people take comfort in the paranormal, or they like their own beliefs, and that's why uh, they believe them. And I think, I think that's going to take people quite a bit further in, in understanding these things and applying them in their own lives. Now, we've dealt with um, each of these paranormal claims uh, that people probably see a fair bit in their own day-to-day -day encounters. But what I really hope people are going to do here is, is take this and apply them elsewhere, around the dinner table. If, if somebody makes a wild claim around uh, around the dinner table to, to think about these mechanisms that we've been discussing and, to, and to, to recognize ambiguity when they see it, to pinpoint um, this as, as an example of multiple endpoints and to recognize and, and not necessarily call people on it and say, well, you know, you're behaving irrationally, but to at least recognize where they're, when they're happening and to potentially, and, and maybe think about it in terms of the six leads that we talked about last week. Right? If, you, if you wanted to change someone's opinion about something, how would you go about doing it? And again, just saying that uh, you're being silly, you know, straighten up, right? <laughs> Fly straight, you know, think more clearly isn't going to really cut it. And so I think we're getting closer in terms of, hopefully we're getting closer in, in, in Having people, just as we said in the last, as Susan said in the last episode, that sort of approach isn't going to change anyone's mind. But thinking about um, the mechanisms, thinking about why people believe these things, is going to get you a lot further in understanding their origin, and you know, hopefully getting people to think more clearly, and at least recognizing where people's failings are when they're not thinking clearly. Next week, we're going to move from the extraordinary to the ordinary. So instead of talking about claims of the paranormal, we're going to be dealing with claims about health uh, and applied claims in the next two episodes. So we're going to be dealing with topics now that are going to really hit home with, with people's lives and livelihoods in a very real sense.